Hello guys, how are you doing? This is Woolly and this is a video on ore processing in the FTB Monster Pack. Uh, currently in beta, uh, should hopefully be in full release soon. Um, and we're just going to explore a few options that you have for ore processing and how to get the most out of your ore. Um, and yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over a few setups um, I'll explain what they do. We'll drop a stack of iron ore in and then we'll come back and you'll see how um, how they've performed and how much you return you get for your stack of iron ore. So starting off, Tinker's Construct is again in the pack um, as it was in FTB Ultimate. Uh, so you could use a smeltery. Um, this is a simple automated smeltery. We'll drop our stack of iron ore in there um, and yeah it's basically melt it all down turn it into ingots and it'll go into the chest um, pretty basic stuff um, not as basic as what we have here good old ic2 uh, macerator and electric furnace um, and yeah this is a pretty good system you can make it really really fast but i'm guess we all know that this is only going to double our ore um what we have here is an upgraded system which uses a macerator an ore washing plant um and what the ore washing plant does is it will produce um let's start it off it will produce uh this crushed iron ore which can be smelted into iron stone dust and also these tiny piles of iron dust. Now, I already had nine in this auto workbench to prime it. So basically, what was that? Uh, okay. <laughs> My coin of uh, fortune there, picking stuff up it shouldn't. So uh, yeah, um, it'll all end up in here. Also produces stone dust, but I'm really not sure what that's for. Um, so yes then we have a thermal expansion um pulverizer redstone furnaces they're called now um, um to accept the output so the the main output and the bonus output from the pulverizer being powered with creative energy cells um we've now this one is a, an upgraded system where we're using induction furnaces fed with sand um and that will give us um both the bonus output from the pulverizer and a different bonus output from the induction smelter um now this is rotary craft uh this is i believe is new um what we have here is a grinder um powered by what is effectively a create creative energy creative version of the industrial coil um and this is pretty groovy um, I'm supplying it ridiculous amounts of power, so it, it's moving at a feral clip. Um, also, Rotary Craft. The, uh, this is a much better uh, system called uh, an extractor. Uh, again, just like that one, we're just using an electric furnace um, because Rotary Craft, well, I couldn't find a furnace that was within Rotary Craft itself. Uh, this thing looks very cool when it runs. It will um, we'll just turn this on. Donk. Again, I'm supplying it with ridiculous amounts of power, but yeah, it goes through all these processes before going out to the furnace. Another new mod, engineer engineer's toolbox. Now this one is a real that's quite complicated to get a grip on. This one took me ages to get a grip on and get things working. Uh, what we have here is a pretty basic set setup. Um, these are modular sockets with different modules plugged into them. A grinder module and a furnace module and it's very slow um, but this is pretty much like our basic IC2 setup uh, except being powered with redstone flux uh, this is a much more uh, much more complicated setup for for it um, we have a grinder module uh, we have um, a multi smelter that's being fed with quick lime uh, which you would need to build a whole big machine to, or a kiln it is, and uh, automate it to make the quick lime. Um, 
So that makes uh, the grinder makes iron ore dust. The multi smelter makes impure iron dust. This is a centrifuge, which turns it into pure iron dust. And this is the furnace. Um, and eventually it will come out the other side. Um, this one has a chance for bonus materials, which is nice. Always love a bonus. So there we have our stacks, um, stack of iron ore in each machine uh, being processed. And yeah, we will come back when they're all finished um, because some of them take a while and have a look at how they performed. Okay, so they will have all finished by now. So let's have a look-see. The smeltery from Tinker's Construct doubles your all. Very meh in terms of feed the beast. Uh, the basic IC IC2 setup doubles your all. Uh, the upgraded IC2 setup with the all washing plant. Um, let's see, it's left a four. There are four tiny piles that have been we've been unable to process it into full dusts, plus nearly two and a half times your ore and some of this stone dust. So not bad, an improvement. Uh, the basic thermal expansion doubles your ore and a bonus ferrous ingot. Uh, I think we've been unlucky there with the percentage chance. Um, the upgraded um, version with the induction smelters. Yeah, eight ferrous ingots this time and that should these induction smelters shouldn't affect that because that bonus comes from the pulverizer itself uh, doubles your ore and gives you some light gray rock wall um, so yeah um, the uh, grinder from rotary craft triples your ore fantastic so m probably um, despite the lack of bonus this is probably the best so far uh, the extractor. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five times the ore, um, plus 31 aluminium ingots. Not sure what they're used for, probably making stuff in rotary craft. Um, I do know that this is a percent uh, chance, um, basically. For every operation in here, you get a 50% chance of creating it, of it doubling the output. I believe it's a 50% chance. Um, I might be wrong on that, but uh, yeah, you get a lot of, uh, a lot more resources out of this. I mean, that that's pretty amazing. Plus bonus materials. Fantastic. Um, engineer's toolbox. Basic setup doubles your ore and the complicated setup nearly quadruples your ore i'm not quite sure i think maybe there must be a percentage chance thing going on in there but yeah so that is not bad but the winner by far is the rotary craft extractor so when you start playing in feed the beast monster um don't be put off by how complicated rotary craft seems uh, it's quite clearly the winner in maximizing your ore output so um yeah rotary craft uh, is the winner um but that's all we've got time for today um i hope you found the video interesting um and until next time guys take care of yourselves <laughs>